Well, hey folks, you're probably wondering what's going on. My video has been out about a day or so, and I'm posting a rerun already. Well, I can tell you it's not by choice. Um, every now and then a copyright claim will come out of nowhere. It's totally unjustifiable because I spend really good money to be licensed for all of the music that I use. But the copyright claims come, and even though someone's audio track might be in my video for 20 seconds, they get paid for all of my views and not me, and I had already had 10,000 views on my video. It's pretty discouraging, but it's out of my control, and it is what it is. So I had to pull the video, make some changes, and I'm relaunching it, which takes me another seven or eight hours. Huh. But anyway, here we go again. Let's hope that it goes without any glitches. And if there's a glitch, I'm going to have to pull it into the privacy setting and try and make some changes. Occasionally, if you get a notification that I have a new upload, you go to watch it, and you see that the video is in private. It's just because I have a glitch, and I'll have to take care of it. Please check in again. I'll make a announcement on the Boss of the Swamp Facebook page. Please, there's no need to email me and let me know about it because I get about 5,000 emails a week um, and I can't respond to everyone. So I do the best I can to make the videos the best I can, but these uh, technical difficulties are part of the game. So hopefully you'll watch the video again or let it pit play a few times to try and get my view count back up. I'd appreciate it. All right, here we go again. quite an adventure to get all that lumber back in here. Got her done though, got her done. Ah, so here we are at the cabin. It's January 1st, 2016. We're starting the new year off on a happy note. We are here for as long as we want to be. Ah, we got plenty of food. I'll get some beer. Got a bottle of wine. I got my journals. I got some books to read if I want. I'm gonna do a little filming. Get the Dutch ovens fired up. Ah, I got nothing that I have to do. No place that I have to be. Definitely starting the year off right. Yeah. So. You get the cabin warmed up and uh, fill up the ice box with my chow. And uh, here we go. <laughs> Happy New Year, folks. I can't tell you how much it pleases me to have all this birch bark cached away nice and dry for whenever I need it. And I saved all the sawdust from the workshop project for my composting toilet. Nothing goes to waste around here, <laughs> not even a day. <laughs> Almost like it was made for it. <laughs> 
Well, I'm not sorry I built that thing, I want to tell you. A lot more convenient than an outhouse, that's for sure. So I'm just getting settled in here at the cabin. Uh, we're going to be here for a while. And I was just going to put all my food in the ice box. And I look in there, and I'm just amazed at how well this thing works. So before I load it with food, I just want to show you. Now, it's been empty since the last time I was here. I left a few beers. I left some butter. I had a little uh, vent open just a little bit. It's at 32 degrees in there. <laughs> Maybe 33. It's climbing a little bit. It's amazing, huh? The beers are good. Just above freezing in there. I got the idea to build one of these about seven or eight years ago. And when I put the addition on here, I made the spot custom built for my plan. I really still didn't know how it was going to work out. I was a little skeptical. It exceeds my expectations by far. It's just incredible. And when I posted it on my YouTube channel, I was amazed at how many people told me that it wouldn't work. They told me I needed to put in some fans. Uh, the window, the vent window wasn't big enough. I needed to put two windows, one on the top and one on the bottom for natural convection and blah, blah, blah. And um, someone told me not long ago, recommended that I had two windows with two fans, one blowing in, one blowing out. Now I'm sure that all of those ideas would work but why bother? I think people just can't handle simplicity. Our culture now, you know, our society, we just can't handle simplicity. Everything has got to be complicated and computerized and run on fans and eat power. I mean, this thing is just incredible. As you can see, I arrive at the cabin, the fridge is on, it's not run on electricity, it's not run on propane, there's no fans, it's not running on my battery, there's no ice in it. It's freaking awesome. I don't know, I really fear for our society if the grid ever went down, because boy, oh boy, I'll tell you, some people just can't think outside the box, or inside the box. <laughs> Time to cut firewood for the workshop. Frankie knows to stay out of harm's way when the saw is running. If he doesn't mind, he's going to have to stay home, and he wants to be a part of everything. I like being out here doing this. I don't know. It's just it's good exercise. It's good for the mind and body, you know. That's some good firewood right there. That's going to burn nice and hot. Same with this elm. About probably 90% of the elm trees are standing dead now. They're dying off now. It's pretty sad. It's not just on my property. It's everywhere. I know as soon as I mention that trees are dying, people tell me that there's probably this or that on my land. But it's not just my land. It's everywhere. It's even in New Hampshire. Uh... The elm is really good firewood, but if it stays out in the forest for maybe two years or so after it dies off, it gets punky like the popple does, and it's not good wood. But if you harvest it in time, it's excellent. This is some really good stuff. It's going to burn good and hot. It just doesn't split very easy. I think someone's anxious for a peanut butter cracker. <laughs> the one snack that I've always really liked when I'm working out in the woods is just peanut butter crackers. They're so cheap and they're nutritious and they're tasty. And I can give them to Frankie too, which he knows. <laughs> but take a peanut butter cracker, put a piece of fruit on it, 
Instead of using jam, most of the jams are full of high fructose corn syrup and a bunch of crap like that, and it's a little too sweet for my taste anyway. But just put a piece of fresh fruit on the peanut butter cracker, like a strawberry or something like that. A nice piece of crispy apple with the peanut butter. Oh, just yummy. Those pre-packaged peanut butter and cheese crackers are gross. <laughs> I'd rather eat a piece of duck jerky. <laughs> he says, don't eat that duck jerky, that's mine. <laughs> Double bitted axe isn't really my choice tool for splitting, but my good splitting axe is at the New Hampshire cabin, and the one I have here is kind of crappy, so I'm just splitting up a little of this old tamarack for now, but it's doing the job okay. I do a lot of splitting with hydraulic splitter, but I sure like doing it by hand. Really enjoyable for me, kind of therapeutic in a way. I would live no other way. Well, that ought to be enough to take care of the workshop for a while. There's still enough room to park the machine in there. Ought to be in good shape. Got a nice assortment there and it's all bone dry. That little building won't take much to heat. I'm going to go in, start a fire, get the old pot belly fired up, start taking the chill out of the air in there. Ah, oh, it was a good day. Well, as good as it felt to work in the woods all day, it feels just as good to stop. <laughs> I was going to make a cup of tea, but... I saw I still had a can of the bombshell in the ice box there, and I opted for that. Got my water all hot from my shower here. I'll be taking one of those in a minute. Mm. Yeah, red apple bombshell, with just the right amount of tart. <laughs> a little tart wouldn't be too bad right now. <laughs> <laughs> he hasn't had enough to eat. He brought me his chicken. Look at him. <laughs> chicken. Keep. Keep. He's a chicken. Get a chicken. Even though it's quitting time, he doesn't quit. <laughs> Freaking porter collies. <laughs> I want to say thanks again one more time to all of my subscribers that have sent up stuff. I received a lot of boxes around Christmas time. I can't thank you enough. It really means a lot. Your generosity and thoughtfulness of all the stuff that you sent up. It really means a lot. Uh, one of my subscribers named Catherine sent a big box of toys for Frankie. And she sent me a case of oranges. And these have been a real treat. This is the last orange in the box. It's just been a real treat. I want to say thanks again to everyone. And I hope you had a great Christmas and a very happy new year. Thanks again.